To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is Dupali Shah from Examen. In this lesson, we are going to see about the climate change, global warming, its impacts and much more. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's get started. Climate Climate is the average weather in a particular geographical area over many years. The weather can change in just a few hours, whereas the climate takes longer to change. Planet Earth has witnessed many variations in climate since the beginning. Climate change as the change of the climate which is attributed directly or indirectly to human activity that alters the composition of the global atmosphere and which is in addition to the natural climate variability observed over a comparable time period. Major characteristics of the climate change are as follows. Sea level rise, global temperature rise, warming oceans, shrinking ice sheets, glacial retreat, extreme natural events, and ocean acidification are a few examples. Global warming Global warming is a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere generally attributed to the greenhouse effect caused by the increased levels of carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, and other pollutants in the atmosphere. Greenhouse is defined as a glass building in which the plants that need protection from the cold weather are grown. Greenhouse Effect A greenhouse effect is a phenomenon in which the atmosphere of a planet traps radiation emitted by its sun caused by gases such as carbon dioxide, water vapor and methane that allow the incoming sunlight to pass through but retain the heat radiated back from the planet's surface. Global warming potential, a measure of the total energy that a gas absorbs over a particular period of time which is usually 100 years compared to carbon dioxide. Impacts of the global warming Melting of the ice caps Melting of the ice caps and glacier will lead to the rise in sea level. Thermal expansion also contributes to the sea level rise. Fertile agricultural land on the coast will be submerged and saline water intrusions will degrade the neighboring land. Ground water in such regions will also become useless. There is evidence that the some Himalayan glaciers have been retreated significantly since the 19th century. Flooding in the Himalayas and the Ganga plains in the wet season and rot in the dry season will severely affect the country. As a result of a thawing of snow, the amount of arable land in high-latitude region is likely to increase by the reduction of the amount of frozen lands. At the same time, arable land along the coastlines are bound to be reduced as a result of the rising sea level and saline water indunations. Extreme Climatic Events Increased likelihood of the extreme events such as heatwave, flooding, hurricanes, etc. will offset all the economic advancements made. Changes in the rainfall patterns will severely impact the agricultural sector. Environmental degradation Reduced hydroelectric power generation due to the abnormal behavior of the glaciers will further increase the dependency on the fossil fuels. The widespread vanishing of the animal population due to the loss of habitat will add more species to the threatened and extinct list. Rising of the health-related issues It is anticipated that there will be an increase in the number of deaths due to the greater frequency and severity of the heat waves and other extreme weather events. Lack of fresh water during the droughts and contamination of the fresh water supplies during the flood compromise hygiene, thus increasing the rates of diseases like cholera, diarrhea, etc. Biodiversity loss The loss of plankton due to the warming of seas will adversely affect the marine food chain. Bleaching of the coral reefs will cause great loss of marine biodiversity. Rising temperature would increase the fertilizer requirement for the same production of the targets and result in the higher greenhouse gas emissions, ammonia volatilization and cost of crop production. Rising temperatures will further affect the physical, chemical and biological properties of the freshwater lakes and rivers with adverse impact on the many individual freshwater species. No food security Climate change affects the crop by impacting irrigation, insulation, as well as the prevalence of the pest. Increased frequencies of droughts, floods, storms, and cyclones are likely to increase the agricultural production variability. 
deterioration of the carbon sinks a carbon sink is anything that absorbs more carbon than it releases while a carbon source is anything that releases more carbon than it absorbs when the permafrost melts due to the global warming it releases carbon in the form of carbon dioxide and methane which are both greenhouse gases in 1970s the tundra was a carbon sink but today it is a carbon source thanks to the global warming what are the initiative taken by the government of india to deal with the global warming crisis the initiatives can be classified into the two broad categories mitigation reducing the emission of the greenhouse gases causing the rise in the temperature and adaptation building the capacity of the community through financial technical and other infrastructural support to minimize the losses due to the climate change the major initiatives are plans and policies the national action plan on climate change which is also known as NAPCC 2008 national solar mission it has the goal for increasing the development of the solar technologies such as increasing production of the photovoltaic 2000 megawatt per year establishing the solar research center and promoting the international collaboration national mission for enhanced energy efficiency energy consumption reduction in industries trading energy saving certificates energy initiatives like lower taxes on energy efficient appliances are a few example national mission on sustainable habitat better waste management power from waste extending energy conservation building code incentivizing fuel efficient vehicles energy efficiency as a part of urban planning public transport promotions are a few examples national water mission improving the water use efficiency with the use of pricing and other measures national mission for sustaining the himalayan ecosystem conserve the biodiversity forest cover and glaciers of the himalayan region national mission for the green india expanding the forest cover from 23% to 33% of the india's territory national mission for the sustainable agriculture climate resilient crops crop insurance sustainable agricultural practices national mission on strategic knowledge platform for climate change climate science research fund better climatic modeling international collaboration private sector participation in the technologies for the adaptation and mitigation eco sensitive zone also known as esz notified by the around protected areas such as national parks and wildlife sanctuaries objective is to create the shock absorbers for the protected areas by regulating and managing the activities that threaten the forest areas for example the western ghats himalayan region and much more there are several other environment related laws to protect the environment they are as follows indian forest act 1927 wildlife protection act 1972 Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974 Forest Conservation Act 1980 Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981 Environment Protection Act 1986 National Green Tribunal Act 2010 The Environment Impact Assessment is also a major step taken by the government to reduce the effects of the climate change and you can watch the videos for the Environment Impact Assessment and its process the link is given in the description With this we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. In the next session you would be seeing about the energy sector interventions and much more. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Stay tuned for the next episode.